previously on Imperion Galactic Survival. The ancient Beprith. You are coming to rescue me from this virus scum. I hope. I was sent to this planet to investigate the recent activities of the gravitational anomaly that seems to spit out ships and cruise into this system from time to time. Risky mission, dot to the Firax presence. But as the last reported event was exactly one year ago, I was sent to see what is going on again. What do you know about the incident a year ago? We got a report of a gravitational anomaly in this sector. The Firax Empire was a massive ships at its exit. I think they were not as surprised as we were. Some of the ships of the incoming fleet are now to escape. Some were destroyed, and some crashed on the planets of this system. Do you know where the survivors went? After our rescue team managed to bring them past the Thirax lines, and off that planet, they were picked up by one of their vessels. I am afraid I have no info where they went. But when you want to find them, I suggest you find the hand kept there. What about the survivors of Operation Phoenix? Go visit the orbital trading station when you are done with whatever you brought you to this planet. Get yourself a road with, set down at the sky guys bar and enjoy the view. I'll report to my organization, and see what I can do for you. You have already convinced me, and I will now try to convince my supervisors to help you. Won't take long. I hope. Alright! Welcome back everybody to Know It All DM Entertainment. I'm Know It All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. Just hanging out and playing Imperion Galactic Survival. I want to thank everybody for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoy what you see today. If you do, don't forget to hit that like button. So in the last couple of episodes, we built this small vessel. And the only names that I seem to get suggested were... Uh, someone mentioned that the that it looks like a pizza box. I don't really see it myself, but in that note, on that vein, in that vein... Anyway, along those lines, I am going to name this the Delivery Something, or Something Delivery. Um, how about this? It looks like a pizza box, and the Ninja Turtles love pizza. So we're just going to name it Cowabunga. And I may have misspelled that. I don't know. But congratulations, we now have Cowabunga. Cowabunga is our small vessel. Um, so in any case, I've gone ahead and I've gotten food and such put in here here's our food to eat here's backup storage for the food our main constructor inventory has a little bit of each of everything we'll need uh 50 copper or to go to become 100 ingots and just a little bit of stuff that i picked up from drones that i killed in the area as well um over here We've got extra oxygen, fuel, and a polarized hull shield. Our oxygen is getting a little bit low. Let me top it off from the base real quick. And our fuel, I just filled this up a bit ago. Our power is at 7% idle without the thrusters on, without or the flight systems altogether. So I might want to end up adding another couple of generators here or there um, in doing so I would end up re reducing the size of some of these if I put them there I don't know I, I may just end up leaving it as it is or I may end up replacing some other things with uh, with generators but in any case, um, I've got a little storage thing here for, you know, it's like a little chest at the end of my bed. Um, too bad we can't actually sleep here. That'd be interesting if they added like, and, and I might do this in Star Salvage, is create like a pillow. That's, it's just a, a device for a small vessel that's just a pillow that you can use to sleep like you can the beds. 
And that way, if people wanted to set up something like this and have pillows, they could actually use it to sleep and pass the time. I, th I just think that would be interesting. Speaking of Star Salvage, you may have noticed that recently I haven't been posting a lot of videos. I've been doing two, maybe three a week. And the reason for that is I have been working a lot on Star Salvage. And I... Uh, and yeah, so hopefully in a couple of weeks, the 1.7 update of Star Salvage will be on the workshop. In addition to that, before we put it on the workshop, well, or maybe as we decide to put it on the workshop, just before we actually do put it on the workshop, we will be doing a playthrough, we being me and Fragalot, at the very least, the two of us, we will be doing a playthrough, or at least starting a playthrough of Star Salvage, and we will be uh, testing out the new stuff. And I think it's going to be fun. Oh, one thing that I am going to need that I just remembered. Uh, let's look at junk. Uh, installation boost. Is that the only booster? I could have swore somewhere I had an EVA boost, but apparently not. Okay, so we're gonna have to make an EVA boost. Uh, devices, advanced constructor. EVA boost. Because we're probably gonna be going outside in the, you know, in space for this mission that we're doing today. So let's top off our personal oxygen here. Come on back to Cowabunga. Should I call it the Cowabunga or just Cowabunga? I think I'll just call it Cowabunga. The Bunga, yes. Um. We'll call it the Cowabunga. Get back to the cowabunga. Yep, that sounds better. Um, back to the cowabunga. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's see. Output, bring this, and you go in the armor locker for now. Um, might as well go ahead and just put this on us here and then we'll equip that uh when we can okay um i think we have everything ready i'm a little anxious to do this but we are going to head to the space station in our new small vessel, the Cowabunga. Um, I'm going to turn turrets and weapons off for now so it's not wasting ammo at things. And let's see. Where is the trade station? It's up this direction. Okay. Now, I like the way that they've done the stars recently in uh, what they did in 1.7 just now. You'll notice the further stars are like little tiny dots and everything like a backdrop. But you can see a couple of close stars that are larger in size, not just brighter. And I think that's really neat. Like, if we're looking at that one there, that one is probably one of these closer... That's probably Zizimas right there. And that one back there is probably... Uh, 
Harto Beta. And as you can see, they look a lot like they do in here. Um, so it's really, really cool if we look off in that direction. See that little orange-ish dot there? That is probably Zuriaxa or Zuri Zuriax back here. So we've got a lot of you know, you, you can look at the stars and actually tell the probabilities of what they are just by looking at them. It's really cool. All right, it looks like we have some drones that may be coming after us. Uh, you see the exclamation point and all that. So we're going to activate our defense... Uh, our defenses, our turrets, just in case. Um, there's the Xerax patrol vessel down that direction. I think it's out of our sensor range, even though we can see it on the map. Nope, there it is, over there. That is the Xerax patrol vessel. Um, it doesn't appear that these drones are coming after us at the moment. You see they're getting further and further and further away. Um, although I think they were chasing us for a minute. Um, but we are coming upon the orbital trade station here. And when we, if, when, if and when we, uh, go to the top, uh, top distillery, um, I believe there is some, uh, Xerax over there. Uh, near here so let's come on down here and see if we can land here I'm wondering ah! Ugh. I wasn't able to stop fast enough we it looks like we are just small enough looks like I'm gonna have to Turn around. Like so, so that we can exit properly. Alright, back up. We are in hangar D. All right, we will turn the flight systems off, but I will leave the turrets and weapons on just in case. And we are coming down elevator B. Okay. So now it says get a beer. Let's see. Sky Guys bar is up at the top. And let's see if we can get a beer. Fruit beer. So, let's sit down and wait. All right. Anywhere specific it wants us to sit? I guess not. Hello, sir. I am top manager, Yilk. I am contacting Julia de Trading. Estás en Customer con Chanel. Ve que si hubo hecho cento te parten a Product Evaluas en Product Forward New Design, Totally, Overpowered, Low Gravity, Brewer, Road Bear. I got promised some beer. Ja, ahí sí. You received our once in a lifetime offer to participate in our early access program to test the best in Low Gravity Brewer Road Bear in Andromeda. If you were fiones promised to be free, and to roll it tested. Three out of four in our latest focus group survived the testing. But, I am afraid when you to inform you, Tito Distillery Freighter did not arrive on time. Given Ultima and Fields, Pirates and Tifirax Petrols. We fit the worst. May I ask you for a favor, kind of done? Might regret this. How about this, if you can solve this little? Inconvenience. For us, we will grant you free road beer and all over top clubs in this galaxy. It's probably just a simple delivery mission. 
I guess that sounds doable. Excellent. Our new low gravity destroyer is located in this planet's orbit. Your task, take up a few bottles of our new anniversary, best saying, low gravity, road beer, from our brewmaster and bring it back. Simple as that. I'll be back in no time. Wonderful. Have a safe flight. Easiest job ever. I think we know who this mysterious friend is. Let's see where this will go. Did they even mention a mysterious friend? I don't remember them mentioning a mysterious friend. Uh, what was it? D or B? I think it was B that we came up. Yep. Um, let's go ahead and equip our EVA because I know at the distillery there's going to be a little bit that we're going to be going in and out of um vices um equipment armor locker all right flight systems activated All right, now to the top distillery. It doesn't appear that we are, that the Xerox are on high alert at the moment, but I'm afraid once we get to the distillery, we're going to encounter some drones and then the uh and then the uh xerax patrol vessel but i'm gonna do my best to avoid space drone i don't have any ammo in my Oh, I didn't put rockets. That's not good. We're going to have to slow down and take these out with mini guns. And it looks like we've got more drones that direction. Base drone's still on my butt. Getting slowly further away. Why do they brew their beer in a distillery? Sounds wrong. Either way. Let's find the brewmaster. Drones still coming after us. Looks like they all might be. you what I'm going to do to avoid these I 
let's head back into here. I'm gonna see if I can if I can get some missiles for my ship. I think I think I made some. Just forgot to pick them up from my base. I'm gonna have to mark the top distillery again, but that's fine. Let's head down to our home base, grab some rockets, and see if we can take out some drones. For the moment, I don't think we're going to need our warp drive, so I may actually remove it and put the shield generator on. I know the shield generator takes up a lot more CPU than the... Uh, warp drive, but it'll at least mitigate some of our issues. Alright. I can just come down like this. Access the base. Output, yes. Okay. Now, somebody did mention that I need to put a little hatch on the top to get into and out of here. That is actually a great idea. And I think I'm just going to put it right here back behind this. All right. What I want to do is home base. Um, let's see this home base connect to this. Make one of these. Here. And that should be that. And it's a manual door, but now if I get into here, hold on, let me. Alright, so if I'm in the cockpit, now when I get out, I can just walk up here and in rather than having to butts with that. Um so I think that's actually a really good idea. I don't know who, I don't remember who mentioned it, but yeah, that's a great idea. So now that we have that, and now that we have some rockets, let's head back up into space towards the top distillery. Ooh, look at the sun. Look at how it's not just a sphere. You can see the solar emanations and such. That's pretty cool. Um. Let's see, let's head back into space. The top distillery, I think, is on the other side of the planet a little bit, so we'll get into orbit. And then... Yep, the top distillery is this direction. Around the planet. There are some space lasers and space drone lasers and such that I'm going to have to deal with that are around there. Um, before I do, hold on, let's, let's, before I get into combat, let's slow down. All right. 
What the? Oh, come on! It's that close? Where's my ship that's gonna that's getting pounded now? Hey, my miniguns actually did their job, yay. I was trying to get into my ship. There's another drone. What I was trying to do is... Oh, I need to get my... Oh, look. Looks like they changed the uh, way that a person's thing looks. Damage anywhere? I know I took damage somewhere. They just attacked me. Okay, well, apparently they didn't do a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, the whole floor is all messed up. That's what it was. Okay. What I was going to do is connect to this go ahead put this shield generator in oh, hold on do I even have any pentaxid in here no it's not even going to do any good might as well not even worry about it all that for nothing all right um yeah I wish these put themselves back in the proper slots where did I get hardened steel blocks from? I don't know. Um, maybe I just have those as backup for this. Uh, I don't need that at the moment. Don't need those. I've got the root beer. We'll just put their fuel in our tank. Um... That other drone was down this way. Might need to put a few more, few more forward thrusters. I know where I can put one. Um, main cargo, put you in, that one, sort of one, I no longer need to connect to that. Um, medicines. Got another tier pistol that I don't need. that okay let's head back to the top distillery and 
and take out any space drones we run into. any drones at the moment so we may not need to worry But we are finally here. So either I park here or up over here. I think I'm going to park over here for now. I think this is just the right size for me. Perfect. Place this off. Ow. There is a lot of gravity here. They really need to redesign this POI, redesign the gravity systems on it. All right, let's get some food real quick while we're here. All right. And we're supposed to go talk to Brewmaster Lark. Welcome. Hey, I'm Bremaster Lark. For having a bit of trouble right now, so I don't know how to help you for a visitor. I was sent to help. Ah. I'll send a message saying someone who would come for a transport job. But I carry graveness. Oh, shall they pat it? Erat savre dead of the stiery, and still end to see cre recipe of a new anniversary. Best saying, top rubir. We were able to track them down, but... The are no equipped for to require the arm down ever. I am very sorry your travel may have been to no avail. But maybe you could assist you so at this little inconvenience. There goes the easy job. Oh, wonderful. I have sent the position of the perat base to your suai. Please hurry. Without the recipe, the velber hand. Hope the beer is worth it. You guys just have a lot of stuff that I can just lay uh, just laying around that I can take. Let's go ahead and put some of this stuff in here. Oh, but no, 
fucking cheese there. Alright. Play systems activated. Hidden station 20 kilometers away. There's a few more resource asteroids that I have yet to find, or I guess yet to identify. I could put a few more thrusters on here and we could accelerate a little bit faster or, or I guess fly a little bit faster. I can only go up to 104 meters per second now based on my mass. Funny, when you put it on auto flight and you are your max is under maximum, um, your speed is actually affected by the gravity of the planet, which is really cool. But only when you're on auto. All right, the hidden station is in sight. Uh, we are neutral with the pirate clans, which is good. Maybe we can this appears to be the pirate base, Commander. Someone inside should know where we can find the recipe, or might want to hand it over with the use of appropriate arguments. Maybe we can find a way in that doesn't involve blasting. And maybe we can talk to someone and not get the pirates angry at me. After all, I have no problem with pirates. Really land too well right there. Let's back. We'll have to hang over the side, but that's okay. if we can find someone to talk to. <laughs> There's a Xerox pirate. Please come back. What do you want? Stumbling in a pirate base and first thing you do is spying around. Cheers man. I assume we could do some business together. Ho. Oh. Be careful, man. Appreciate you got to know from our latest coup. Would better choose your next words wisely. Ha. Of course you are impressed. We stole that recipe right in front of the ice. Walked in, showed our weapons, and they ran away. Ha ha ha. Well, only thing is. What shall I do with the recipe now? Pirates do not brew beer, but drink it, right, man? You are really new to this, right? Client has booked us anonymously, but never picked up the recipe at the drop location. We were paid, do. Good deal. Haha. Ha. Yeah. You know, I really start to like your attitude. 
Booster and no suchen es a free lunch, right? Um. I think it is at least vers a platinum bar. Platinum bar? We can do that. Alright. Head down to the loading area and speak to our paymaster, more boys. Here we finally to the deal. Now, do I have a platinum bar? Not with Maybe I'll have to buy one from someone. Medium and armor. Okay. Is it that I'm supposed to talk to? Head down. Hey, Master. Didn't the boss tell you to bring our platinum bar? Get one and you'll get that recipe. Okay, let me go get a platinum bar. I wonder if I can come in through the bottom with my ship. Is this the right level? This is not the right level. This is too high. Okay, that's kind of weird, but whatever. Um, this one. I guess we'll have to go get a platinum bar. I wonder if I can get one at the trade station. This is actually the first time I've done this mission without fighting. So, what I want to do, I want a waypoint on the hidden station as well. Alright, let's go to the orbital trade station and see if we can get ourselves a platinum bar. Hmm. 